I've been receiving a lot of questions about trades and Mike, who should the Detroit Lions look to trade for? So in this video, I got three players that we're going to talk about in a trade. Why would the Lions make a trade for a player? What if they strike out on the players they would like to acquire via free agency? They didn't get the guys they like. Where do you find talent? You can look to acquire talent via trade. That's part of the job. The Lions understand that they got to get to a Super Bowl here. You got to improve from last year. We're in the NFC Championship. The only way is get to a Super Bowl. That's how you prove. So we're going to go through these trades. What would it take to get the player? What would the player do for this team? What is his specialty and all of that? But before we get into the video, question for you folks. Where is the best pizza joint to eat in Detroit? I like to go to Detroit. I want to get some pizza. Throw it in the comment section where you think the best place that I could get some of that. Let's start with the first player that Detroit Lions should look to trade for. How about DeForest Buckner? Defensive lineman, Indianapolis Colts, veteran player, veteran presence. He still has a lot of gas left in the tank. And what really makes the Forrest Buckner good is he doesn't quit. He's a guy that consistently has a motor, and he would be a good complement to Aline McNeil on the interior. And what he does specialty is he's good at stopping the run, folks. He is really good at that. The Detroit Lions are really good at stopping the run. It gets better. He also can get in pressure from the interior, something that we lacked a little bit. His specialty, third down. Where did the Detroit Lions struggle at? Third down. How many times do we talk about third and long, they get a first down. Third down, penalty. We got to get better at third down. So when you get a talent like DeForest Buckner, it's going to help. Pretty good this year. 81 tackles, 8 sacks, one, 11 tackles for loss, 2 forced fumbles, 1 fumble recovery. He's still got gas left in the tank. He still is a good player, and he helped. He could help the Detroit Lions out this year. What would it take to get a DeForest Buckner? Well, here's what I did for a trade. The Lions received DeForest Buckner, and we get a seventh-round pick from the Colts. The Colts receive a third-round pick from the Detroit Lions and a fifth-round pick from the Detroit Lions. We get Buckner, we get a seventh-round pick, and we get better on the interior of the defensive line and on third down could help out the Detroit Lions in a big way. Question for you right now. Should the Detroit Lions look to trade for DeForest Buckner? Why for yes and N for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's talk about prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. And if you want to get some spice on your NFL Sunday, you get started with prize picks right now. Prize picks skill-based real money daily fantasy sports game. And if you're looking to have more fun on game day, look no further than prize picks. You want to play alongside some five prize picks favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz. You can now find community plays in the promos tab of the app if you entry some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week. Prize picks even offers a reboot policy so that your players stay in play, even if one of your players gets injured in the first half and does not return in the second half, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. The two players I got for the NHL game tonight is Tristan Jerry getting more than 28.5 saves and 27.5 saves for Sergey Rovkin. So get started with Prize Picks right now. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. Why is the code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency part. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today, and the link will be in the description and comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. Next player the Detroit Lions should look to trade for is edge rusher Khalil Mack over there in the Chargers in L.A. Khalil Mack, we know, we know that he's good. He was in the NFC North. Right, the Chicago Bears. He was there for a while, wreaking havoc upon our Detroit D Detroit Lions, and he's still productive. Seventeen sacks this season. Seventeen sacks this season. He's older, yes, but imagine if you had Khalil Mack, Aiden Hutchinson, worlds collide, and we can get to the quarterback, someone who could help out. Aiden Hutchinson, to where he's not the only guy people got to worry about. And you get that pressure from quarterbacks. What happened, folks? You already know. What happens? They're either going to throw an interception, throw a bad pass, get sacked, 
good things. Good things. Really good player. What does he look like? He's 6'3", 269. 74 tackles for loss. 17 sacks. 74 tackles. 17 sacks. 21 tackles for loss. 5 forced fumbles. 0 fumble recovery. He is very good still. He is somebody that can help out the Lions right now. What would it take to acquire a talent like Khalil Mack? You think it could be potentially large? I don't think so because the Chargers right now don't really know what they're doing, right? And they can't pay everybody. They can't do that because their organization is kind of in a wreck right now. Yes, they got Jim Harbaugh, but they have a lot to work to do with some of this roster, and maybe they just can't feel like he could be someone that could help their team going forward. So here's the trade package that I have for getting Khalil Mack. The Detroit Lions receive Khalil Mack, and we only give up a fifth round pick. Because of his age, because where the Chargers organization's at, you can get him, and that would be something good for this football team. Having a guy not going to cost you a lot draft capital a fifth round pick that can help pass rush you would always get back a fifth round pick right what if you want to trade down from one to the second round then you're going to get that fifth round pick back in the draft so you're not really losing anything that could be a strategy for the Detroit Lions so question for you should the Lions look to trade for Khalil Mack why for yes and and for no let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The last player the Lions could look to trade for is somebody who has been rumored with Detroit because this team allowed them to seek a trade. That's Hassan Reddick, the edge from the Philadelphia Eagles. And now, if you know me, I've liked Hassan Reddick for a long time. The last couple of years, he's been in the free agency. I said, the Lions should go get him. The Lions should go get him. He's still good. He's still good. He is a good pass rusher. That's what he can do. That is his specialty, is getting to the quarterback. Perfect. And that is not our specialty, unless your name is Aiden Hutchinson. He is a disruptor, folks, and he still has gas left in the tank for many years, in my opinion. Hassan Reddick is a dog. He is. Now, he may not have the highest upside, but he's a dog nonetheless. Look what he did this year. 59 tackles, 11 sacks, 13 tackles for loss, zero force fumbles, zero fumble recoveries. Him and Aiden Hutchinson would be a good quality pair. They would. Smash the quarterback. Smash the quarterback. Smash the quarterback. That's what we want you to do. It relieves the stress for Hutch. We need him to be released. We need him to be able to get better on the quarterback. And that means you have to get to the quarterback with other players. Hassan Reddick can do that. What would it take to acquire Hassan Reddick? Well, I think it's close to... Getting Khalil Mack, I do think so. And I got the Lions receiving Hassan Reddick and giving up a fifth-round pick. Again, they're allowing him to seek a trade. They already lost the, the standing of trying to demand to get something massive out of a trade. When you allow the player to go seek a trade, other teams are like, yeah, yeah, we see what you're doing. So you could get him a little bit cheaper. They don't really have the upper hand. Again, just like we talked about with Mack. The Lions could trade back if they want to and get another fifth round pick. So if you use a trade on a son right, you get that fifth round pick back. Good to go. If that's the if that one they wanted to do. And also when it comes to a lot of these trades, folks, it's understanding that we have a ton of talent on this team. And some of these draft picks may not make the team. And I said that last year. And it, as we continue to build this roster into a consistent Super Bowl type of roster, you're you're going to have these type of problems where you're going to have draft picks not make the team. Maybe they go to the practice squad. So that is a number thought process regarding these trades. Strategy regarding trying to get the best talent on the 53. That's the way it should be. So I got a question for you. Should the Detroit Lions look to trade for Hassan Reddick? H, Y for hell yes. H, no, for hell no. Blow up the comment section with whys and yeses. Again, anybody that knows me when it comes to trades, I prefer to go the free agent route first. 
Why do I want to go to the free agent round first? Well, you can control the contract that you make because when you trade for a player, you're going to either have to extend them or you're going to have to deal with the roster. But most importantly, free agency, you're not giving up draft capital to acquire a talent. And there is players in this free agent period, especially pass rush, that the Detroit Lions could look to get. Daniil Hunter, Josh Allen, there's a couple names out there that can help them out. So I think the Lions, primarily if they're trying to get better at pass rusher, should go that route. But again, if they miss out on some of these free agents, free agents, for whatever reason, they don't want to sign, they think it's too cheap, or they want to do a multi-year deal. We know when it comes to Brad Holmes, he's more of the one- to two-year type of deal, and the player may want something different. So if that's the case, a trade is the option right there. You don't have to give up picks. You're keeping the same contract. You can work with the player, and you have the, the talent there. And generally speaking, these players have a lot of sacks, quarterback hurries, all that, something that the Lions are looking to get better at. They need to get better at pass rush. They need to get better at disrupting the quarterback, tipping the ball, rushing him to throw through his interception, a uh, missed, missed ball because he can't plant his foot in there and throw the ball correctly. Everything has its importance when it comes to the pass rush and getting to a quarterback, the importance of it. And it helps out your secondary, helps out your linebackers, it helps everybody out. And if Lions do that, the Lions have an opportunity to take a significant jump in 2024 slash five. So that's my list right there. Grade the list. Is there a player you want to trade for? Would you play for trade for another player? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that notification bell. We're going to be live, dropping videos all the time. With that said, folks, adios.